Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria. I'm a reseller and I have a fun series going on this week. My girl Jessie from Gorgeous came down from St. Louis to hang out with me and my friends on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. She must be a glutton for punishment because this is year three of her coming down to visit us. But this year we went harder than ever. We hit two Goodwill outlets, 10 thrift stores, one liquidation store and I am here to show you all the footage of the crazy good time we had in this video. It's going to be day two of Adventures with Jesse and we went to Mobile, Alabama. So we went to the Goodwill Outlet and two America's Thrift Stores. So I'm going to show you those hauls. For some reason, it was kind of a dud of a day. I still found some good stuff, um, but I think Alicia and Tanya really did not do that great. Jesse and I did a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you the footage of hanging out and then I'm gonna come back and show you my haul. Don't forget to check out my friends in the description below. I'm gonna have all their channels linked. You're gonna wanna make sure you have the bell notifications turned on for my channel, but also for theirs because they film footage and they're gonna have hauls too from every day that we hung out. It's gonna be super fun. So let's see the footage. All right, time for round two of thrifting with the crazies. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call this week. Or, I don't know, we need to come up with some catchy title, you know? Like, they have, uh, what's uh, Paul and the crew has uh, the Peaches to Beaches. <laughs> we need some funny stuff. And, uh, anyway, I'm heading to go pick up Jessie from her hotel. She is staying just down the street from me at the fancy IP Casino Resort Inn hotel <laughs> and so I'm gonna go pick her up and uh, we're gonna head over to Mobile today to do some thrifting with Tanya and Alicia <clears throat> you know them too so exciting day of thrifting we're gonna hit America's thrift store the new one then we're gonna go to the bins and then we're gonna hit the second America's thrift store so hopefully find some good stuff I'm sure we will and uh, yeah I'll be filming you know it Here's the hotel. Going to pick up my Jessie girl. Whoop, whoop. Wow. Crazy drivers. Coming to, oh, there she is. I see her. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Looking magnificent in baby blue. What's up, Ross? <laughs> Seagulls on the side of the interstate. Wait, where you go? Hey, don't fly in here. Oh shit! Look where we is. Oh wait, I said a bad word. Yeah, I was gonna I'm gonna have to bleep that one out. Whoops. <laughs> and I got Jesse in my. Hey. Okay, that's zoom way in. Okay, oh, now do so, it. Yeah. I zoomed out. Now say hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it to Mobile, but the girls aren't here yet. So we're being nice ones and waiting for them before we sneak in the thrift store. Because we could go cheat and start early. Well, Alicia said she's already going to watch the dresses. Yeah, she she does that anyway. That's okay. Oh, okay. I thought that was. She did that last section. time. It, well, that, that that's why she does it because she knows it's my section. But she won't thumb through every dress because oh. Oh, okay. she's yeah, yeah, smaller yeah. and it hurts her arm. <laughs> so she'll go high? quick. Yeah, for yeah. her, anything's high. <laughs> that's true. So anyway, so but yeah, that doesn't surprise. I'm gonna go to the denim. I think. Okay. All right. Athletic wear for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beat Alicia there. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look, they're unloading goodies for us. They knew we were coming. Thank you, America's Thrift Store. Oh, that's snacks. Oh, they have snacks in there. Ooh. Jesse needs snacks. Where? Oh, in there. Yeah. I that's... thought you saw like a store of snacks. No. They're rolling up. Oh, that's not them. No, they're behind them. Oh, they're rolling up. <laughs> Part two. Oh, 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 oh. Is she coming? She's coming our way. Here. Look, it's Tanya. Tanya's here. I'm going to go to shoes first. 
because all my friends are in shoes. <laughs> up, up. Who's going to get the first pair? The first pair. Okay, I better go to dresses. <laughs> Yet, so I haven't ran comps. But let's go find the girls and see what they got. All right, who's up first? Who can we find? Well, oh, I hear Alicia. Where's Alicia? I hear her up. Oh, Founder. Founder. Yes. <clears throat> All right, let's see what Jesse. All right, game real quick. Ready? Ready, Victoria? A game. What brand is this? Lily Pulitzer? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Could have been Croft, I mean, uh, whatever that belt what brand is. is. Croft and Crown and, and Ivy. That's what I said. I said Lily Pulitzer, but it could have been <laughs> Crown and Ivy. I thought Lily. Let's see your buggy. Well, I thought Lily at first, but I was like, that's ugly. Ooh, Alicia might have more than me. Well, I think I'm only going to get this, 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 maybe. I don't know if I'm getting this yet. Can we give some applause for that hair today? Look how beautiful. Woo! All right, let's see Tanya's buggy. Oh my Lord, what happened? First, last I saw you, it was just a television. And now it exploded. Heck yeah, she did. It's Tanya. I'm not scared. <laughs> Y'all, I think this might be the saddest, oh, this saddest the worst. America's trip. Thrift so store worst. trip we've you ever taken. Wedding? Let me show you what I got. Three dresses and one pair of shoes. Poor Alicia. Get, There's get her tiny guess. pile. Oh, I was just filming, but okay. Uh, Stacked in the back. <laughs> okay, and then Jesse, what, how many? Yeah, three. Take a picture of our butt. Okay, I got that on camera. You know that. Shoot, we're gonna memorialize this. <laughs> That's my friend Jessie. She's cooler than me. She's already editing her video from yesterday. Mine will be out in four weeks. <laughs> Same. I opened this. I wasn't supposed wow, to. Wow! Look at those bangs. I know. Those are good. Nice. And it's got the it's got the gold Olin Mills on She's there. She's got her some uh, leather goods. Tiny little wallets. Look at that little kid. She's putting everything back. Yeah, I gotta do that too. I have a whole stack. Stuff I'm not getting in America's thrift store. Oh, my friends waiting. Patiently, I'm starving. We haven't not, eaten since not yesterday. Not Whose I fault's that? Uh, my my casino, son, because I was mad. The casino. I don't, we don't want to talk about the casino. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're at the oh. diner. Oh, I missed your cheer. Cheers again. Cheers. I told everyone to get coffee. Bring the camera back to me. Okay, sorry. I talked about this coffee all morning. Bring the camera back. No one got coffee except me. Coffee. Nobody pays attention to you, that's why. No, I drink a lot Get the of camera coffee. off. I've had a lot. I kept talking about the plate. Oh, look what I got. Oh, yes. Do they use sparks right here? I hope so. Down here, I would think. Yeah. Finally, a victory. I'm seeing everyone's video. Yeah. Look, it's all of our food. Everybody's filming. Oh, started coughing. 
look where we is. There's a leprechaun on the back of that van. Goodwill outlets. <laughs> That is too cute. Let me it's see. Adorable. Wow. Boogie will fit in it and probably Benji and that's it. The rest are too fat. Too fat. All right, we made it. There's Jesse. Jesse's singing for us. Can you sing that song for my video? America's thrift store. Let's go inside. <laughs> yeah, the girls left us. So rude. Found Tanya. Didn't even wait for us. Like you waited for us at the bin. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm following Alicia through the men's section. Where is she? <laughs> There's so many dresses. We could both take an end. It would still take an hour. <laughs> I know. Jesse, this might be goodbye till later. I'm going to try to go through the blazers real quick, but then I got to blaze on out of here. <laughs> you like my joke? Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> I see Alicia's little head. jeans blazers I'm gonna scam the shoes scam the shoes I'm gonna scam the shoes scam them what's Alicia got in her basket I got a lot of stuff hey you want to see what jeans you well Jesse did too she went to the jeans they must have just put those out maybe 425 is that today's date maybe we didn't go through the chunky section what size are those they might be these me. were in the right section actually these were on the other side oh. 33 Hey, let's see what Tanya got before I leave. Tanya, what's in your basket? Ooh. Obviously, Tanya hit the men's section. Yeah. I got some. Yes. Oh, they just can't. The only reason I'm buying these is because they're half off. Well, Jesse was like, where's Tanya? Probably men's. Yeah. Oh, I can see all three of you in the shot. Hi, Jesse. Peter Millar. Ooh. I got brand new. I'm not sure. I'm going to check these out first, but they're new with tags. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, pfft. yes. Yeah, I know. Look at this one's even better. What? <laughs> wow. It's a crazy print. That's why I'm going to get this. I want to know the type of dude who would wear those. A very colorful one. Yeah. Yep. You got a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm going to go skim the shoes and then I got to get out of here. Okay. All right. I just finished at America's Thrift Store. Got my bags, all three of them. The girls are staying to thrift, but I have to go pick up my kids. Can't leave them at school, so I'm heading home. The martinis. Look at our and, drinks. Yeah. All right, here's mine. The Dean Martin. Mine's the Elton John. What's that mean? Where's the martini sign? Oh. What? How much of an angel I am. Can you oh. see the halo? Oh Lord. Deflecting. It's from this fountain over here. <laughs> <laughs> Got my extra hey. hot date, Jesse. Woo! Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, to a fun Tuesday night right before New Orleans. Oh. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Look at those little bow tie dance, they're so cute. <laughs> those are bomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so here is my haul from Mobile. We're gonna start with the America's Thrift Store, the newest store, the one that I went to on my birthday where they sang me happy birthday, but 
something happened when we got there and that is one of the really sweet ladies who works there was talking to me and asked me, you know, was asking me if we'd been back since the opening and this sort of stuff. And she said, well, you just missed it. And I said, missed what? She said, about two weeks ago, we completely cleared out most of our inventory. And I said, oh, did you send it to Birmingham? Because you may know or have heard of America's Thrift Supply. Um, I know that my local America's Thrift stores send merchandise to Birmingham to be put in mystery boxes for resellers to purchase for their business. And she said, oh no, we send it all overseas. So I'm not sure why that mobile location doesn't send to Birmingham, but um, they did get rid of a bunch of their merchandise. And so I only bought four things. <laughs> not that great of a thrift trip at this store. So uh, yeah, let me show you what I did get. The items I got, I'm pretty happy about. Uh, these are super small. They're these little silver sneakers, but they are by Fry. Um, a way to tell Fry also is you'll see this imprinted uh, logo or symbol in the leather. And so that is Fry, but they're in great condition. Leather and cushion soles. So uh, these are a little tiny five and a half, but they only had them marked at $3. So I definitely wasn't gonna leave them. This next item will probably need a little work, but you'll see it on uh, a Mend It Monday, uh, which we're gonna change to Soak It Monday because I have so much stuff to soak for resale. But um, it is this pretty silk crimson red cocktail dress, really pretty. And this is a, a brand that I like to sell. It is Jenny Yu Collection. Um, Jenny Yu, um, there is the higher end line, which is just Jenny Yu. And then there's Jenny Yu's collection, which is usually like bridesmaid or prom or special event dresses. And that's what this is. The only problem with it is there is some um, deodorant residue and a little bit of pit staining, but nothing a good soak won't take out. And I usually soak silk anyway. So uh, we're gonna put this in my Mend It Monday pile over here. Okay, next up, uh, I got two items from this brand. And then that's all we got at this thrift store. So I can't remember who gave me this dress. I wanna say was Tanya? Jesse, Alicia, I don't know, I just named all my friends. <laughs> but it's this pretty little floral dress. It is linen. And um, they did have this marked up to $13.99, but um, it is Free People, and this is a new Free People tag. And then also, it is new with tags. So um, it originally retailed for $128, but anyway, it's a really cute dress. It's got the crocheted straps. And like I said, it's linen and it's florals. So I was happy to pay up a little bit for it. And my average cost of goods, I will pop up. Um, I do like, so if you're a new reseller, what I do is um, I take the average of the shopping trip. So, you know, depending, let's say I spent $50 and I purchased 10 items, I will take the $50 and divide it by 10 and that will be my average cost of goods for the shopping trip. So even though I paid $13.99 for that dress, I only paid $3 for the fried sneakers and it evens out. So my cost of goods uh, will go down and that's just how I do it. So this is another Free People dress, um, semi-sheer lace sleeves. It's got a lace overlay skirt and uh, this stretchy, um, sort of like belted look, but I thought it was a pretty color. Again, a newer Free People. Here is the Free People uh, label. And although this does not have the price tag, it does have this garment tag still attached. So it is new. And uh, so I was like, sure, I'm gonna get that. Okay, so that's the four items I got at the first thrift store. Then we went to the bin. So let me grab those items and I'll show you what I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. Lots of vintage. All right, got my bins haul over here. So first up is this, whoa, check it out. Look at this silk scarf, y'all. Look at that. I don't know if this went on a dress, it was a belt, or if it's supposed to be a hair scarf, but I, but I absolutely love it. So I am keeping this for myself. Um, that's my favorite part of thrifting is, not only am I buying stuff for my business, sourcing, but sometimes I find fun things for myself. 
All right, these shorts look a hot mess, but at Ben's prices, again, I paid a dollar and change. I'll put my average cost of goods up here. Uh, these are just some little white denim shorts. They do have some staining, but again, I will soak them, get that right out. It is J. Crew, And at the Ben's, I'm gonna get J. Crew. Okay, this is a brand I used to have a 100% sell-through rate with. I have not got it in a long time. It is White House Black Market, but the reason why I purchased it is it is new with tags. Again, I have a very low average cost of goods. It's just a black pencil skirt, and surely I can get 25 bucks for it. So I was like, I'm gonna definitely get it. This was a fun purchase. I thought I might use these for myself or um, I can resell them because this is a popular brand from Target. So it is this beautiful velvet curtain. It has these chartreuse little pom-pom accents. Love it. Totally cute. It reminds me of like curtains that should be like um, in a Western saloon or <laughs> The curtains that Scarlett O'Hara took down at her house and made a dress out of. But um, let me show you the brand. And again, it's just Target, but it is Opal House. And Opal House is very popular. I looked these up and twin panels like this uh, were selling on Poshmark for 40 bucks. So um, I was thinking I might use them here in my office, but I only have one window. Um, and it's, you know, it's not a huge room. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell them. I like money. Okay. Next item. I wouldn't pick this up in the thrift store again, but it is a uh, Zara, which is okay, but it is new with tags. So, um, it's just a really lightweight knit top in a dark Navy. It looks almost black, but it is Navy and it's semi sheer. So it's great for layering. So, uh, wasn't going to leave that. This is a, another item that definitely needs to be soaked because it's white and it's the bins, but it's a little white top. I thought it was really interesting. It has like this boat neck with buttons and the brand is again, J. Crew. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and soak this, but I got it. Okay, this is fun. So I found a bag full of scarves, vintage scarves, and some of them caught my eye and I just, put the whole bag in my buggy and figured I'd go through them later and I did. And I was presently surprised at a lot of the ones that were in there. I did throw about half of them back, but I kept some to sell. First up is this silk scarf. It is uh, green and blue and this is the brand, it's Vera. Now Vera still makes scarves today, but this is a vintage Vera. So really cool, you could use this as a scarf or a head scarf. So, um, and you can see this says made in Japan. So uh, I do know it's vintage. It's polyester. So I'm thinking probably late seventies, early eighties. Okay, this is another scarf I'll probably keep for myself. Um, this could be used as a pocket square. It's just got these little flowers on it, but I'm going to use it again as a head scarf. So um, I'll keep that. Okay, here is another vintage uh, Vera. There's the Vera. There's the Vera at the bottom and pretty floral, bright chartreuse green and some purples. This one is silk and there is the Vera label. Uh, it says it is hand rolled, which is referring, which is referring to the edge here. And again, made in Japan. These sort of things are really fun, um, lightweight, easy to store. So <laughs> this I thought was really cute. These two, I'm gonna lot together. So this is the first one. It says how to cure a hangover. You can use these as little napkins on your bar, but it has all these fun graphics all over it. Um, so let's hear about these hangover, how to cure a hangover. And it's got all these countries around the edge, prairie oyster, <coughs> teaspoon of Le Lea and parent sauce. I have no idea what that is. One drop of Tabasco, one raw egg, sprinkling of salt and pepper. 
pick me up. A third of Dubonnet, a third of Cognac. Why am I drinking if I'm hungover? A third of Anisette, lemon peel, white of an egg, and cracked ice. Upsy Daisy, half a lump of sugar, Angostura rye. Where am I going to even buy this stuff? Measure of champagne, two or three dashes of absinthe. Now, is that real absinthe or the uh, fake stuff you can get? Dynamite. Dynamite. Take a large glass rinsed round with a couple of drops of Angostura bitters. Put in one jigger of lime juice, two jiggers of whiskey. Fill up with soda and stir well. A flippant hen. One egg yolk in a glass of beer. Oh, that's terrible. How to get rid of elephant and snake. One teaspoonful of ley and parents, one dessert spoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of tomato juice, a glass of dry sherry. We have a French one, white wine, a few drops of lemon syrup, soda and ice. I could probably do that. Moose milk, three fingers, fresh milk, double shot of bourbon, that's all. <laughs> and then it says, and if nothing works, eat raw tomatoes. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Okay, and then I'm going to lot this one with it. And it is all in French, so I have no idea, but it is by the same artist. So uh, I'm just going to put them together. So there's those. Oh, this one's real fun. Okay, so I pulled this one out and I was like, huh, here is the scarf. And it says forward together, together forward. And if you look right here, there's a signature and it says Richard Nixon. So this was an inaugural handkerchief that they made uh, for, I believe in 1969 for his inauguration. So this is really neat. And they do have a reproduction of this being sold online, but I saw another one of these um, for, <coughs> for sale on eBay for 75. So I might list mine um, for 65 and see if I can get it sold for that, which would be great because that's more than I paid for this whole haul. Okay, and then another vintage scarf. Let's see if you can see it. So it's got these fun graphics. I saw this first and could tell it was vintage. Um, it's probably a souvenir scarf, but I looked up uh, this right here and apparently it is um, a little town, a little Bavarian town, really beautiful. And there's a lot of locations on here. Um, it says Oktoberfest, let's see, uh, Munich. So it looks like um, it's a lot of Germany. It does have one stain on it, which is uh, right here. But again, I'm gonna soak it and just in retro clean and get that out. Okay, last up from the bins, uh, one more. I thought this was a belt, maybe went to something, but again, I might keep it for like a headscarf. Um, I like weird stuff. <laughs> And I did find a pair of good American jeans, uh, which is great for our bins. Um, it does have a slight bit of puckering, um, but good American, because they're so stretchy, I don't mind if there's puckering. I'll just mention it in the listing and show it. The only thing is these are super worn. Um, so I thought about not getting them. Um, they also have this at the bottom on both sides, but apparently... Uh, this is how it's supposed to be. So even though they're worn out, they're not worn out in the crotch, which is <laughs> the most important area. So I figured at the bins, I'm just going to try them. I'm going to wash them real good. Um, and then I'll, I might steam them too, um, it, depending on how they look. And um, yeah, we'll just try them and see what happens. All right, so we went to one more store in Mobile. That's America's Thrift Store, the old one, which is in Tillman's Corner, which is really closer to Mississippi. So uh, let me show you what I got there. Now, in this store, I was rushing. So my girls know I'm always headed to the dresses. Alicia actually beelined over there, and she went through all the dresses. Um, in fact, she gave me one that she found, which I'll show you. But I was in such a hurry because I had to get back to Mississippi to go pick up my kids from school because my husband is a firefighter and he was at the fire department, which means it was mommy's responsibility to make sure that the kids did not get left at school. <laughs> so I left the girls with Tanya because yeah, we took two separate cars because I knew I'd have to leave and I rushed through the store. So everything you're about to see, I picked up in about 45 minutes. 
Uh, ran a couple comps, but for the most part, I just grabbed it and said, forget it. I'm just going to see what happens. Here is my average cost of goods for this store. And let me show you what I got. All right. So this probably will get me about 40 or $50, but um, it is a jumpsuit, black bottom, and it's in satin on the top with this um, boat neck. It is by ABS, Alan Schwartz. Um, it is a size eight and it is new with tags. So I wanted to try it out. I like a good jumpsuit. I also found two little jackets right as I was leaving. First one is by a brand called Sunny Girl. This was actually sold at Mod Cloth. It is, I'm pretty sure whoever owned this owned the other one too. It has ruched sleeves. So it's like three quarter length. It's called the Birds of Paradise jacket. It does have built in shoulder pads, really pretty print. And y'all know I love to sell mod cloth. And I actually saw this one first and knew exactly what it was. So it's this little navy jacket, it's mod cloth. It has this rainbow piping that goes down the lapel and is also mimicked on the front pockets. Really cute little navy jacket. All right, I got some jeans. I didn't get a lot of jeans. Again, I was going through these sections super fast. I let Jesse have the denim, but I did find these Lovers and Friends jeans. And in a later haul this week, you're gonna see that Jesse and I went to that liquidation store I'm always talking about because they've done some big Nordstrom buyouts. And I found these exact jeans there. Um, so they did retail for a lot, if you didn't know. Um, but they're just some skinny dark wash jeans, factory whiskering, and here's the back of them. So, and I've never sold the Lovers and Friends jeans. I've sold their other clothing, but I've never found them. So I was excited to find those and try them out. Okay, this is a brand I haven't sold in a while. I don't really find it a whole lot, but um, comps were okay. This is one of the items I did look up. So I figured I'd try it, especially for this time of year. And it is young, fabulous, and broke. I think I should get 30, maybe 40 for it. It is a tie-dyed maxi length dress, super soft and comfy and stretchy, great for the beach. And the straps crisscross in the back, so that's cute. So um, yeah, we'll see how it does and I'll report back, I'm sure, in a future What's Soul video. Okay, now for the dress that Alicia found for me. It is a newer tag at Cabbie. Now I'm picky about Cabbie, but Cabbie definitely still has a following. But I thought this dress was really cute. I was excited she handed it to me. So it's like an abstract, maybe animal print, uh, but it's flocked. So that is where, so there's just like a regular fabric and then on top of it is this velvet that's raised and that's called flocking. They used to have flocked wallpaper back in the 60s and 70s. So, um, but anyway, I thought it was a pretty little slip dress. It does have adjustable straps, a pretty color. So thanks, Alicia. Okay, and then I did find a couple dresses. I'm gonna, again, try this brand. This dress is strapless, which I don't really like to get strapless, but it is in a pretty royal purple color. It has an exposed zipper in the back. There's boning in the dress satin on the inside so it's comfy to wear. It is uh, Badgley Mishka. This is a diffusion line called Mac and James, but it's a great size 12. Good little cocktail dress and it's an excellent condition. And best part is we got some pockets. So um, we'll see how it does. I really liked this jumpsuit when I saw it. It's in like a Kelly Green floral has this uh, ruffle neckline. This is ASOS Design, which is a little bit more expensive than regular ASOS. Uh, it's in a size six. It has a little bubble sleeves and the bubble sleeves do have elastic and the ruffling just like the collar. It has an open back, big keyhole, and then it is wide legged. So again, wide leg is really in. So anyway, I thought it was super cute. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> And the last item I think is gonna be my money maker. I'm always up in the formal dress section and I felt it, I knew it was silk. It does have these sweet little straps and it has this asymmetrical draping in the front. And then there is a side 
it slits to the side and underneath this overlay of silk is this beautiful embroidered lace all the way down it's maxi length and so this is a limited edition by Zuhar Murad and you can see it even still has the designer emblem on it so this is hopefully going to be my money maker from the trip not huge hauls um, definitely liked this America's thrift store uh, better than the other one and I think I did pretty good for the little bit of time that I had before I had to go get my kiddos in Mississippi yeah that's our trip to Mobile hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check out my friends in the description below let me know what you think so far about this series <laughs> And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. We are headed to New Orleans. You know we love New Orleans. We're going to go to Salvation Army half off today, half off day, which is Wednesday. And we're going to hit a Goodwill. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.